University, it's Nayana and Sarah, and this is another update video coming to you from South Sudan. Yeah, we love and miss you guys. We just want to tell you a little bit about what's been happening these past few months and what's going to happen during this year. Yeah, so in December we went to Cape Town, South Africa. It was so fun. We got African braids. Only problem was it did pull out some of our hair, but it was super fun. So we've been back in Juba for about a month and it's been pretty hot. Like the temperature for the past three days has been 100 degrees and humid, but today it's cool, so that's good. Um, but one of the things we've gotten to do since we've been back, um, our mom was invited to um, present a worship song at one of the biggest churches in Juba. And she knew that we both have a heart for worship, so she said, hey guys, wanna come along too? So we got to sing a song and just pray for these people and bless them. So it was a super fun time and that's just one of the things that we've gotten to since we've been back. So the main thing that Sarah and I are going to be doing um, during this year is working with the worship team at our church. And at first I was like, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be a part of it. The reason is um, it's just really unorganized and really in a lot of ways dysfunctional. Um, actually, the Lord was softening my heart towards it. So I said, okay, Lord, whatever you want to do, I'll just do it. And so I actually got up on stage or quote unquote our stage. It's like a concrete slab. So we practiced with a certain key, all this kind of stuff. But we got up there and the piano player was late. And finally when he showed up, it was off key. And so I'm like, I don't want to be a part of this. This is so frustrating and so annoying. Like I have a heart for worship, but this is not what I want to be doing. Um, and so we've just been praying about it and how we can be helping and what we can be giving away. And so even last practice on Wednesday, it was an awesome time. People are actually engaged they're actually wanting um, to really connect with the Lord during practice, not just sing a song and leave and check out. So that's been super awesome um, because at first I was like, I don't want to do this. Um, but God's really followed through and so that's really cool. Okay, so we want to give you guys a quick um, preview of our church compound where we're going to be living. Hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so this is our church um, on a Sunday and these are all our friends and church family. Here we shake hands as a sign of love and respect, so you'll see me shaking hands with a lot of these people. Um, and we just really love being with them. It's definitely a different experience than our this city, but we just really enjoy being with them and living with them. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this is our church. Um, they, it lasted them actually 20 years, but now we've completely outgrown it. God has really blessed them with the funds to start the new, a new building. Here's the foundation. You guys can just be praying that they'll be able to get the money to complete it. Okay, so this is the way to our pastor's house, and here it is, and we'll turn right, and here's where we're going to be putting our tents. And this entire time we've been building a septic tank um, to build a bathroom because they don't actually have a real bathroom at their house. And so you guys can be praying that God will provide the funds to finish this bathroom so we can move in. We love and miss you guys. Thanks so much for your prayers and for watching this video. Bye! Bye.